welcome to the show. I'm Jenna Kim Jones. This is Couple Friends. And we're back. Don't you worry. Welcome. Uh, I was just waiting for Al to pipe in. Oh, well, I was just waiting for you to do your thing. I know. I was going to introduce you. And here's the thing. Little, I'm a little like, uh, it's been, a, it's been a, a wild day. I feel like my brain is a little like school, like a little Caddy wampus. Yeah. So, you know, I might jump around a little bit. I'm going to try to stay focused. Yeah. I'm going to try to stay focused. I just All came right. home from the grocery store and drove for a little bit with the back of the van open. So... So, so... I didn't leave. I wasn't on any major streets. I was still in the parking lot when I realized the back of the van was open. Okay. All right. Cool, 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 Mm -hmm. cool. So, you load the groceries. Yeah. Got in the car. Yep. Didn't shut the door. Yep, yep, yep. Saw the light. Went like, why is that light on? what a weird thing. Let me keep keep going. Yeah. Then I realized, closed it, all is well. No big deal. Didn't lose anything. Oh, good. No big deal. Yeah. All right. So, and then I've done, I've done a few, um, like, goofy things lately. But I'm sure it's just, like, weeks of sleep deprivation. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the first time we've let you out of the house on your own. Yeah. In weeks. Yeah. So, (laughs) So, you know. You can't be trusted. It's, can't be trusted. It's weeks of sleep deprivation. I feel really pretty okay. I got to be honest. Like, yeah. as far as sleep deprivation goes, like, I don't really feel like, oh, I'm going to fall asleep at, at any moment. Right. But I think that there is, like, I am reaching a point of, like... It's catching up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like, my brain's a little more loopy. I'm forgetting things a little more... A couple days ago, I went to several different stores with the kids, and uh, first the doctor, mm-hmm. and then a couple stores, and we were busy all morning. I had three of the four, and uh, I got a call at our second location from the doctor's office that said, hey, you dropped a binky here. You, do you want it? I just wanted to let you know you left a binky here. <laughs> Here's the thing. I knew I left the binky because I saw the binky drop. And then I got distracted, and I thought, I'll remember to pick up that binky. No, I you didn't. never will. Yeah. And then the, the nicest nurse ever calls to tell me that, you left a binky. Do you want me to save it for you? I'm like, no, no, no I'm too far. I can't. Just, just burn it. It's gone. It's gone forever. Then we left that store where I got the call. Yeah, the second location. And then I got a call from the second location while I was at the third location saying, hey, you left your, your son's snack cup here. <laughs> I have been leaving stuff all over go, town. Like, no, I didn't leave it. He left it. Yeah, and actually, I actually went back to that store and then forgot to mention that there's probably a snack cup in your oh, cupboard. Oh, I was going to ask you, did you get it? No, no. you forgot. Okay. But all I right. went back there. Yeah, no, you were back there. And I, I yeah. bought something, but I didn't ask for my snack <laughs> yeah. cup back. Oh, okay. <sighs> so, Don't worry about me. All is well. I'm taking yeah. great care of these kids. No, you're doing fine. Mm-hmm. They're alive. They're That's fine. all that matters. Mm-hmm. At this point, mm-hmm. you're just keeping them alive. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am keeping them alive. Yeah, it was kind of fun to be at the grocery store by myself, though. I got to be honest. It is nice. Mm-hmm. It is I haven't nice. done that in a while. Just going out and being by yourself for a minute is just yeah. It's yeah. special. A special time. Yeah. And I, I, I was, it was happy. It was happy times. Well, I'm glad you got some relief thank you you know you gotta get out there thank you um so i have a few things to talk to you about yeah some really (coughs) i don't know where to even start okay well i think this is the second episode back yeah we're back we should probably explain people coming back and seeing welcome back everybody these are broken into into episodes seasons now we are now officially a seasons podcast we can't do it full-time year-round i've only heard one complaint so far it's a strong complaint but it's been a complaint yes the that's okay it's not enough episodes people 52 episodes a year is a lot we're just we want to give you the best exactly so we're still gonna have fun but you're gonna see just some noticeable themes to these seasons yes just to give us some structure as we talk about different things. Correct. And so this, we're doing two seasons a year, 10 episodes a season. Right. So you're getting episodes half the year, almost. Pretty much. Not and quite. And so what you might notice, this first season is all about sort of getting to know us, because in the last 1,100 episodes that we've done, mm-hmm. 
at various times we've had to tell like our love story, how yeah. did we meet each other, yep. or hey, what is this, what's that? And mm-hmm. we don't even remember like what episode we did that in. And so this no. is like an objective of like, well, let's just get this stuff out there. And then people can actually go back and re-listen. Exactly. It's hard to go like, well, have you gotten to episode 472 yet? <laughs> well, then you won't know our Then you don't even get it. Story. Right. So we're doing that. Last episode was sort of that intro and a birth story. This one, I think we're going to title, What is a Couple Friend? Yes. We're going to talk about making couple friends, couple friends. Maybe even ha- why making we named friends our- friends in general. Why we named our show Couple Friends. Exactly. So, so anyway. we've got a ton to get through. Before we launch into that, though, I have two things I want to talk to you about. One is that in the last six months, all I have wanted to do was eat Taco Bell breakfast. And we have not made it happen. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And they now have new breakfast tacos. Here's the thing. Part of the reason I don't want to eat Taco Bell breakfast <laughs> yes. is the spokesperson they chose. Who's that hobo SNL guy? Oh, what's the guy with name? the weird face? Yeah, what's his name? <laughs> the guy that like... Why? You can't get... I will never... He's dated no. everyone. Like he dated all these Kim beautiful Kardashian women. and Ariana Grande and They're other all famous attracted people. To this train wreck of a human being. He's he's What's his name Tommy Davidson. No, Davidson. Uh, David Tomlinson. No, um, not Tommy. <laughs> David David Lawson. Davidson. It's David something. Tom Davidson. Davidson. Carl Kim Davidson. Kim Kardashian. Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. That guy. I just listen. I mean, he's. Talented, I guess, and he's on SNL. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't see him in a lot of sketches, but it's usually just like this weird look that he does. And I go, That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not on there. They haven't invited me to the show. No, they haven't. So he's yeah. way better than I am or sure, whatever. Sure, sure. Way more successful. He when owns, it comes to sketch comedy, he owns he's a found retired water taxi. More success. Good for you. Right. Whatever it is that they do. Right. But I just, I don't. I'm kind of like, I don't want to eat Taco Bell breakfast with That's you as funny. the spokesperson. I want to eat it because I can't have it. And here's why I can't have it. Oh. Because it doesn't start, the Taco Bell in our town doesn't start serving it until like after 9 a.m. I'm like, I get it, Taco <laughs> Bell. You're for people who stay up late and sleep in. This is true. I get it. But I am a parent and I want to eat a breakfast burrito at 7 a.m., not 9.30 when the day has already happened for three hours, okay? I understand the rest of you are just rolling out of bed, but not this lady. <laughs> yeah, well, and I, th- I think, too, like, I'm just trying to think, like, in, like, an office setting. Mm-hmm. If I rolled in with, like, a Egg McMuffin, people are like, oh, no way, Egg McMuffin day, way to go. But if I rolled in with Taco Bell, people are like, what's going on? Are you okay? <laughs> it's did, did you well, call you're not in supposed, sick today? Yes, you're not supposed <laughs> to roll in to work with Taco Bell because you're just setting yourself up for failure. I know. Okay? It just, there's just a certain feel of like, oh, you're not prepared to work today. You're not prepared to put it on the line <laughs> because you're going to be too busy <laughs> it's true. in the line it's or whatever. True. I don't know what the phrase is. But anyway. So I know I haven't no, been excited right. for that reason, but I'm excited for the new options. But I just don't like when Craig David tells me about it or whatever. Uh, Craig name. David, what's his name? Isn't that the guy Monday? Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Pete, um, Davidson. Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. I'm just not excited to have him tell me about it. I get it. Anyway, I get it. I get it. I don't, do people have a problem with this guy? Maybe they don't. Maybe maybe Pete? everyone loves him. They yeah. might. But I you feel might like... be alone in this. This is like me and the movie That Thing You Do. We should yeah, do a whole just, episode on that because that just blows people's minds. Just unpopular opinion. That, that's that's that, what it would be. Yeah. What's that your I can't opinions? stand the movie, that thing you do. I don't like Pete Davidson. There you go. I mean, he should exist. He, he deserves to make money. I got no problems with that. But I just, I don't want him to tell me you talk about. I don't want to, if he's endorsing it, I always question it because I think, I don't know. I don't what? want his life. I don't want to be like I get it. Him. I get it. But like Dave Thomas, he was telling me to eat hamburgers. I'm yeah. like, this guy's got a happy yeah. life. He's got a happy life. You are so I can just funny. tell. You are so His funny. food is made with love. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. It is. You're right. Made with love. So I, I apologize. We haven't been able to get you Taco Bell breakfast. It's fine. It's just that they have new tacos coming out. They're only $1.49 <sighs> each uh, starting October 12th. And it just seems like. What's the meat in the taco? You can get sausage, bacon, or crispy breakfast potatoes. Oh, that actually all sounds wonderful. I know. 
Our kids love the potatoes. But can you can you read it in a Pete Davidson voice? Uh, uh, like, uh, do you want like, to uh, get a taco? <laughs> like, oh, I Is can't it raspy? It. I don't really. I, don't I can't know. even imagine his voice. Like, uh, For me, it was more whiny than you. Yours was more like, Ugh. yeah, maybe. I maybe. don't really know. I gotta be yeah. honest. It's like you say, I haven't seen a lot of sketches with him. He's not, he's not in a lot of sketches. Is he still honest enough? I think so. I or think is they he keep retired? No, I think they keep him in there. They want to make sure he stays okay. I think yeah. They're like trying to make sure he's okay. taking intervention. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> All right. Like so said, anyway. Who am I? You know, yes. I'm nobody. Me too. But. Nobody. Okay. Next. Yes. Here's what I want to talk to you about. I... This, like, I feel like what happened to me the other day, I have, I have been saving a story for Al for two and a half days. I'm, I'm worried it's not going to live up to the hype. It's not. Okay. But I, like, I, I have thought about it because I thought, because I'm so loopy, I thought, did I imagine this happen? Okay. I don't know. So. I am a little worried about I, you, though. I, I took the kids out to run an errand to Costco. And it's just brave in and of itself. Yeah, we go all. I here's the thing: the kids, I schlep them everywhere. I can't. You do. I have to get out. I can't stay home all day. It makes me crazy. So we went to Costco, and I'm getting the kids out of the i out of the car, and I I park in a weird place at Costco. I don't think you've ever parked in this spot with me at this. Probably Costco. not. You and I think very so, differently <laughs> from parking spaces. I yeah, can't even imagine. I don't. Here's the thing. <laughs> I also feel that way about when you park the car. Like I know. you and I have completely You'd be like, you know there's front rows, you know there's front style. row spaces in the back. I'm like, that's not a front row if it's in the back. So I park <laughs> in the front row on the side. I've parked there with you. There's you? like oh. there's a couple of benches over there, like a picnic couple of picnic tables randomly. Oh, okay. And it's right where like the begin the I don't know if, if you're you looking would, at the doors at the left or the right. If you're looking at the door, it's on the right. Where It's on the side with the carts. Okay, we walked by there. So yeah, behind yeah, 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 the carts. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. We walked through there. I've yeah. parked there before once. Okay, so I like, I like to park there once. because yeah. nobody parks there. Yeah, Even yeah. on the busy. Yeah, yeah. This was at like three in the afternoon. I'm with you. Yeah. So I park there because the way they have the carts, I can get a cart there from okay. the back of the line. Mm-hmm. So I park. I have the kids. We're all on the sidewalk. There's no walking through the parking lot. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So we walk on the sidewalk and all the carts are right there and I can just grab one from the back and yeah. then load everybody in and beautiful. drive in. Yeah. Or park. Yeah, it makes it in. much easier. It's my system. Otherwise you're like loading kids yes. while everyone's around you, you're trying to get your cart out because exactly. they're like, get your cart out. Exactly. You know? okay. So you. this is like my little back entrance way right. into Costco. Yeah, yeah. And it works for me when I'm alone with the kids. It's Costco family. When boring. I'm with you, I don't care. But yeah. when I'm alone, I always have a plan. So anyway, I'm walking over and there's these little benches or whatever and I'm grabbing the cart and there's a man there. And he's very friendly looking, clean cut guy, normal, like you wouldn't really think anything. Sure, just yeah, not, not alarming. Yeah, yeah not nerve. I wasn't nervous about him. He was very, like he smiled, nice guy. Yeah. He's on the phone talking to someone. Mm-hmm. And as I'm walking closer to him, he starts this conversation with whoever he's on the phone with by saying, have you ever seen The Fugitive? Oh. And I was like, wait, what? He's like, The Fugitive. Like, he's on the phone. So he's talking to someone Who's, about this. Who does he have to explain The Fugitive to? He's like, have you ever seen The Fugitive? Yeah, you know that movie. You know, The Fugitive? It's the movie with, uh, and he like names all the actors. Yeah. He was like, I finally watched it. I finally watched it the other night. This is the best movie I've ever seen. It is so accurate. Like, I thought it was based on reality. He was going on. I mean, and I like slowly got the cart because I'm like, I got to hear this conversation. (laughs) He went on and on for two to three minutes about the fugitive. And the way he was talking, it was almost as if it was a script. And (laughs) I thought like, what? What's happening? And I like pop out. Gotcha. I thought, I was like, is Alan joking? Right? Like, is this a big, elaborate setup? Am I being punked? Is Alan going to show up and be like, wasn't that amazing? Like, I I wish so badly you were there. I wish, so, like, he was giving specific details about why it was accurate, why the stop, movie stop, stop, is stop, stop, so stop. good. Put it on speakerphone, whoever you're talking to. I need to tell them about this. Was- Wait for it. Jane Lynch is at the end. She helps him. <laughs> 
she <laughs> helps him. It, 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 and he like was really proud of the fact that he had seen this movie and he was talking so loudly about it. And like, yeah. like he was naming actors and scenes and like going on and on. And we had sort of made eye contact like before this conversation started. And so I really thought like, is this real? Like I like paid this guy, like just yes. go over and talk. Just trust me, man. Just uh, talk about the fugitive. That's what I've got to see this. I mean, it really felt like I that. wish I did. He was calling me and I was like, yeah, I've seen it. Tell me more about it. <laughs> no, no, I've seen it, but I, I just want to hear your take on it. Tell me all the best parts. And he's like, oh, yeah, you find that man. It was, you find I'm that not, man. It was. I. It's just. I there can't. Are, it was so odd and weird and i've giggled about it for three days because really i couldn't figure out if i had made it up like yeah. was i hallucinating did this man even exist were is anything real anymore are we really just living in a simulation <laughs> because it was too weird i'm like who is having a conversation about the movie the fugitive my husband's all-time favorite movie the movie Maybe. that i have heard Nothing. I mean, I have heard so much about this movie. I've seen multiple scenes multiple times. Oh, such a good movie. Like, how is this happening on a Tuesday at 3 p.m. in the Costco parking lot? Maybe. Or everyone, whatever day it was. Maybe everyone loves that movie. Maybe Possible. it's a classic. That is a possibility. Sure. That's what I think is that more, people are more often than not talking about The Fugitive. They're talking about it more than you think. You're just not I mean, maybe that it. is, maybe that's, like, maybe at any given point, there are random conversations. Someone's always talking about it. It's a really, so here's the thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, here we go. Here's his thesis. Let's do this. There are movies that do not hold up. Case in point, The Net. <laughs> right? Sandra Bullock, she's a computer hacker. Yeah. Doesn't know anyone, has no friends, and her mom has dementia. Yeah. Yeah. And she's sent to hack Mozart's ghost. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like in the back, like, oh my goodness, this opens everything. Uh -huh. It's a really fun premise. It was really fun at the time. Right. When you watch it now, you're like. This is silly. Number one, nobody was ordering a pizza like that online <laughs> uh, ever. Sure, sure, and, sure. like. I've never seen it. I got to be honest. I think I watched it with you, but that's fine. <laughs> I, like recently. Oh, you know what? We did it was like watch on it. Netflix. I no, no. watch it. With we did watch it. I yeah. remember. <laughs> Sort of. She I remember it. okay. watching it. I don't remember She's the She's like, movie. oh, yeah, the net was crazy. They were, like, getting tangled in it. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about a physical net, Jenna. <laughs> and Sandra Bullock is just like, no, get off. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. And then she won Miss Congeniality. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, like, yeah. making, like, this guy's flying, like, an old... Cessna from 1962, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we've got you." And we're mm -hmm. they kill him because he they crash him. I, into like I a literally, thing. I honestly, I gotta be honest. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know that I know. we watched it. I know you don't, but I'm just telling you. I don't even know what half it those words even, mean it in this make, moment. It's like a little airplane, a little private airplane. Okay, got it. It it doesn't work that mm -hmm. way. You can't be air traffic control and attached to all the banks. And things weren't that connected back then. It was a fun idea, but you watch it now and you go, "Pretty silly, pretty silly," just playing around with. With the floppy disks, but <laughs> the, the fugitive, fugitive holds up. Like Listen, he even with all the iPhones and all the tracking, yeah. you're like, yeah, I know, I get it. But he's running through the woods. Yeah, people can't. Good find luck. Him. He's hiding under leaves. Even your infrared stuff's not going to find him because he's so buried under these leaves, sleeping. They thought he was dead. He jumped off this dam. It's amazing. Yeah, no, this guy was saying that. <sighs> yeah, he was like, it's. He said, the movie was so real, I, I, I thought it was based on, like, a real thing. Here's the thing. Like, it was so real. And here's the thing. I've, I mean, I loved it. There was this, like, internet phenomenon, right? Or a viral video of, like, how often do men think about ancient Rome? And somebody's like, oh, every day. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was I, that? Just a dumb Did you think of? Thing. Do you think of it every day? No, I think about World War II every day. Yeah. Every I, day. I know. And then I also think about The Fugitive. And this it's not is, like I think about Harrison Ford being a fugitive. Yeah. I think like if right now it was like like your lawyer shows up and goes like, Alan, they're coming for you. I know you didn't do it. You got 15 minutes. Go. Sure. Like how long could I last? Could I, could I make it? Like <laughs> at least 30 minutes, like a 15 minute head start plus it take 15 minutes to find me? Or would I be able to last a long time? Would I change minutes? my clothes? Where would I find clothes? That's a good you know? point. 
there's a lot of questions and like, yeah yeah would i find like a random garage door open and the shoes would be my size you know <laughs> like there's a lot of things to think about um and would they when like, you're a woman any shoe is your size <laughs> yeah okay exactly <laughs> totally different you know you would get caught at like the dollar store Rude, but true. But see, here's my idea. Uh, uh-huh. If you're hungry, uh-huh. you just try to find clothes that looks good enough, and you go into a lower end hotel that has a continental breakfast okay. that's complimentary. There you go. You can walk in as long as you act like you know where you're going. Hotel staff goes like, whatever. I don't know which room you're in. There's like 300 rooms. Right. So you can go and grab a, like a waffle. Oh, you a have bagel, thought about this. And then you're out the door again, on to the next hotel. Yeah, you know? a little cinnamon there's roll like if a you're lot at of places. the uh, Holiday Inn. Yeah, there's a lot of places where you can be, but they're not expecting you. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't think about this ever. I think about it all the time. I mean, this I, is your, this I'm terrified is, of doing anything wrong. But, right. Uh, but sometimes I go like, like if there was a game show on TV, uh-huh. and I think there was once where it was like, a hundred grand for whoever can stay out the longest. Like, I kind of want to be on that TV show. And well, because you, because you planned it. Yeah, but I think I would get caught immediately. I would get caught doing something silly. <laughs> like here he is trying to find a bathroom. You know. Yeah, that's like, my oh, issue. Man. Is that they'd be like, "Oh, she went in for snacks. Yeah. Shocker." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's, he like, I'm like, I'm so hungry. I'm starving. Like, you've been out an hour and a half. Like, I know, but it was worth the risk. But and did I'm you like, see Whoa. how far I had to run? Like, but you're gonna let me finish this hostess cupcake. Though, right? I burned so <laughs> many calories. <laughs> it would just be stupid stuff like that. I know. That's about me too. But but the fugitive holds up on this like suspenseful. I'm on the run. I'm just kind of like yeah. not doing things with technology. It mm-hmm. works for me. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah. This is why we have so many friends, you and me. <laughs> this, is, this is why we spend our weekends alone. And <laughs> no, what it is is because you, you want to have couple friends, yes. but you're just too tired when it comes to that. This and is, your, your this is, my, never, this is our struggle. Yeah, it's like, never match. I am so in awe <laughs> of people with friends. Yeah. Here's the thing. I am an introvert. Every time I say that, people go, what? No, you're not. You do stand-up comedy. You love being in front of people. Yes, Every I do. Every comedian is an introvert. I do love performing. I do like a crowd. I haven't met a single comedian tagging along with you that's an extrovert. And when you do meet an extrovert comedian, you're very, it's so suspicious. It's like, yeah. and, you, and like... I don't actually know any, but if I met a, like a true stand-up comedian, not someone who does improv, not someone no, who no, does stand-up. sketch. No, stand-up. Stand-up comedian. I'm talking just a true stand-up comedian. If I met one who was an extrovert, I would be like, I don't know about you. It would seem suspicious. <laughs> yeah, really would. Because Because the extrovert, the introvert wants to observe. They wants to sit back. Right. They want to be alone and think, and like, right. that's how they recharge their batteries. And so it's not to be the life of the party to be in there. Well, and stand up is a solo act. Right. Yeah. You're not I don't rely other on other people. Yeah. I'm not interested in having other people help me out. No, it'd be frustrating. Right. But I like hanging out with other stand ups. Right. Like I like being with the other introverts, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. No, it totally sense. Anyway. Totally sense. It totally sense. You're right. So what was I saying? A uh, couple friends. Like I'm an introvert. Friends, an introvert. Oh, so I'm not very good at like putting myself out there to make friends in general. Yeah. But then I see people who like have these like deep friendships and I'm, and there is a little part of me that is not envious, but a little like, oh, that seems. It's like a FOMO. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that seems fun. Should I have um... that? I don't, Do I need that? Yeah, I don't think you're willing to earn one. That's the problem. Um, because it, it's a two-way street. Like, if someone wanted to text me and be like, hey, um, here's a funny thing, I'd be like, ah, cool, great. And I wouldn't respond, but I'd be like, I really love that, thanks. Right, right, um, right. And so I need, I need on the other end someone who just uh, selflessly gives to me so I can just take from them. That is the problem. That's you the have problem to return. Yeah. yeah. So then I have to wake up and be like, I saw this funny thing. Ha ha ha. Right. And then, right. It, then, and then you're exhausted. A, it's work. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I know. That is true. So what's funny, though, is that so we started this podcast, Couple Friends. We used to have a different podcast. Then we switched to this name because we sort of liked the idea that Al and I were like the couple friends that you, you could have in your life. We were, but we were just, 
really um, low maintenance. We show up on your terms. Right. That's you, exactly right. You listen right. when you want, when right. it's convenient for you. Right. And we're not going to bug you. We're not going to ask you to do anything. Well, we might ask you to like follow us on Twitter or something. But It's low end. It's, it's low it's maintenance. It's barely taking time out of your day. Low maintenance friendship. Okay. And we're going to talk about topics that you would talk about yes. with your couple friends. Silly topics. Around, funny topics. Yeah. Yes. So that was the whole thing of this. But I have been wondering, because I don't have any, like, close friends right now. Yeah. I have friends. I have plenty of friends. I've got close friends that, like, I have people in my life who I don't talk to regularly, but as soon as we do talk, I'm like, oh, we're really good friends. Yeah. I have lots of those. Yeah, and I would, I have a few friends like that where if I don't talk for two years, but then I, like, call them on the phone, it's like, no time has passed. Right. Easy. And I know that if I called them right now and said, like, I need your help. They'd be here two Same. seconds. You have friends like that too. I 100% have right. friends like that. And I'm grateful for those friends because they've been friends with me for a long, long, long time. Um, But I don't have like friendships that are in my everyday life Yeah. right now. And it's weird for me. It's just like I'm, I'm in like this weird, because I keep thinking, should I have that? And here, and I don't. But then... The other day, Al and I were talking because there are people in my life who are also introverts. There's a couple that I'm thinking of specifically, and he's going to know which couple I'm talking talking about, about, who I would like to be friends with. But the problem is they're like me, and they don't have friends either, I don't think. But No. And they're introverts. No, these But I go like, but you're the people I want to hang out with. We do a lot of like, hey, this has been really great. We should totally get together. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, 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 yeah we should. Okay, yeah, we'll call. Yeah. And then neither group ever calls. Yeah, I know. Because you're expecting of that. the other ones to go like, we're too busy. Or, oh, that day doesn't work. Okay, never mind. Right. And then we would do the same thing. Like, oh, that's not a great day. Or we got to find a babysitter. I know, that's the problem. You or know? you make the plan and then you're just so tired and everything blows up in your life. Right. And you're like, I can't do it. Yeah, uh-huh. the day before you're like, please, I just need to cancel that's, tomorrow. That's when you oh, get, please. that's when you send the text or the, because uh, I've had friends send this text to me and I know what it means. Yeah. The text that you get, <laughs> that you either send or you get that says, so are we still on for tomorrow? Is this, this is still happening? Are we definitely still on? <laughs> that is the please let me out of this text. Yes. And okay. sometimes I say, oh, you know what? It's up to you. No big deal, whatever. And sometimes like you're definitely on. <laughs> no, you don't you leave me. You. <laughs> I said, know what you're trying to do. You made a commitment. Yeah. You need to honor that commitment. But I also have another couple that recently we connected with that I'm like, I would like to be friends with them too. Oh, so I'm, I'm, there's some ideas percolating here. I don't know, maybe, but maybe that's like the phase we get in, right? It's like things are stable and you're like, all right, we can, we can sustain friendships. Yeah, that's true. You know? Mm-hmm. I don't know. This is big talk. <laughs> this is a lot of talk. <laughs> well, well, here's why it's on my mind so much. So... Over the summer, Al and I kind of made this big decision for our family. Um, We decided that we were going to homeschool. So we're not fully homeschooling right now. Just our oldest is homeschooling. Our second is in kindergarten, but she's in a class that we like absolutely adore. It's like the best program ever. So she's having a great time doing that. And then the two, obviously, the young ones are not in school yet. Right. So I am a homeschooling parent now. And first of all, we could do probably a whole episode on that alone, but we're not we will. doing that today. We probably will. But yes, we yeah. probably will. There'll be lots of that. Um, I am l- like, I was terrified. I'm still a little terrified because like it's all on my shoulders, her education right now. But um, if I push past all the like, am I doing this right? This is kind of scary. What am I even doing? I am having... An amazing time homeschooling my daughter. That's kind of awesome to hear. Yeah. Because you were like worried, saying like, I don't even know how to teach. I don't. I'm still learning. Every day I'm like, oh, you know what? I should have done it this way or I should do this or, oh, this would be a better way to explain this. I am learning every day, every day, but I'm loving it and I feel like my daughter is enjoying it, Um, but. She's way happier. She is way happier. Like, <laughs> yes, like leaps is. and bounds happier. I know. She won't admit that she is, but she definitely is. It's a happiness that you can't hide. 
Yeah. Right? There was like yeah. a, like, when she would get home from school, we used to say like, what did you learn? Like, I don't know, I forgot. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. And now it's like, dad, this is what we did today. This mm-hmm. is amazing. Let me tell you about this random person in history. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. It is. And it's awesome. I, well, first of all, I find it so stimulating because I'm like learning along with her. Yeah. And I'm relearning things or I'm like discovering topics that, whoa, I didn't actually know anything about that. And like. Yeah. Well, what would be crazy is like, and I think this is the, like, it's the, the challenge that I think teachers have is that like, you're trying to teach kids really important things or really cool things and they're at varying degrees of caring yeah so like when they when i had to read the great gatsby i went like i don't care right about anyone in this book right this oh, is stupid mm-hmm. who cares about daisy what's her face yep and then i read it when i was like 23 or 24 and i was like on the plane like this is an amazing book. So good. Wow. Yeah. All the, and I was like thinking about stuff and the emotion and the love and the, mm-hmm. all that stuff. And I went like, oh, but when I was like 16 or 14 or whatever, yeah. I went like, I don't care about any of this. And so I think that is the challenge. And what would be cool for you is as you go back and relearn these things, there's like a different level of caring. Mm-hmm. And that's why you see these teachers be so overzealous, like so excited to teach you something. Totally. And when you're a kid, you're like, why do they even care about this? That's exactly and you're right. Like, you're just because you're a butthead. <laughs> that's why you're just a jerk little kids, kid kids are buttheads you're yeah. right but anyway i think but that's yes. really cool i'm I'm kind of jealous of that experience i you, you should be it yeah. is very very fulfilling it's exhausting because i'm also wrangling a two-year-old and a newborn and a while huge time commitment like all, oh more, it's every like, day oh my god every day yeah i have several hours every day but but i'm loving it and we're having a ton of fun that's awesome um but my point of that is that one of my big fears is like, okay, so we're taking her out of school and we're homeschooling and now I've like eliminated all that social life for her. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't say her social life was like insane. She was in first grade. So it's like, it's kids being kids running right. around, whatever. She had friends and she has, she still has friends. But I was worried about like, okay, so she's not going to get that interaction every day. What's that going to be like for her? Is she going to be okay? Um, and so I've had to like really put myself out there. Yeah. I'm like a new, I'm like a totally different It's a mom. completely different Jenna. Yeah. Like I'm going and like meeting up with like play groups and like homeschool groups. I'm, I'm texting people. I'm, I'm setting up, we're, we're having birthday parties cause I'm like. We got to do this for our kids. Make sure they have social lives. This is like a big deal. We are doing a birthday party. For both, for two kids. Yeah. Within a month of each other. Yeah. Completely new. Like we are totally different parents. Like I, I'm like making, I'm texting people like, Hey, and we're talking about school stuff and friendships and setting up play dates. Yeah. I see the way I look at it is, um, and everybody's process and plan and path is different. I think we just took a shift of like being very intentional mm-hmm. with the activities and the actions, right? Yeah. Instead of being more passive and going like, well, I'm sure the school will handle it. It's just more intentional. And so it forces us to be very intentional about like, hey, we need to make an effort to do something social. That's exactly um, it. And that's actually been kind of refreshing and nice because you're more focused on like, hey, let's, let's do this for a good reason instead exactly. of just, I don't know, shouldn't we hang out with somebody? Exactly. So I like well, that. and we are introducing our daughter to things that she would have never done if she was in school all day. Like she's in all yeah. these extra activities and making all these friends. Well, and-, and there's, there's been this weird shift of like homeschool focused activities where like, you know, like the tennis lessons would only be after school. And now like they're going like, well, if there's enough homeschool kids that want to do it. Let's do it. Uh, and know, so there's like STEM stuff. It's crazy. All sorts of activities. There's like most of these studios now are offering homeschool classes because there's enough kids. There's so many more kids homeschooling now. Yeah. And I'm meeting some really cool parents and cool kids. And I'm like thrilled for our daughter because I feel like she's meeting kids who are like kind of running at the same speed as she is yeah so, so yeah I, it, I think that's cool though and that's i think that was the byproduct of right of 
being just able to meet other people and be part of the community a little bit. That's you know, what that's what's cool. crazy. We're like anyway, I'm just really excited about it and homeschooling is going so much better than I thought it would go. I mean, we have hiccups. Not every day is a slam dunk. You have some days where you're like, wow, we just crushed it today. And then other right. days where you're like, we are eking by. We are yeah. barely getting see, it and done. And that's what I always go like, how many like, uh, you know, lame days did you have in school? Where the so teacher went, many. Like, I have a headache. We're keeping the lights down. We're watching a movie. And you're like, wait, what? What's happening? <laughs> yes. You know, I mean, that, that stuff yes. happens, right? It does. And the reality is like. <laughs> Can I go home? We no, just, you cannot. We just. We just, yeah. Well, and this I, was such a good decision for for us. Yeah, I was worried too, like, because the you know, like the vision that I had in my head of like homeschooling was like, we're not wearing shoes today, and we named all the trees in the front yard. And you're like, <laughs> Wait, you did what? That's Carl, and that's Susie. And you're like, no, that's not homeschool. That's not homeschool. We're just free. We just experienced nature today. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, absolutely. No, 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 no. Yeah. Math. Reading. <laughs> no. So it, uh, it's it been impressive. I've looked at the curriculum and reviewed it. We did it together. And I'm yeah. Like, this is awesome. I'm like excited to buy these books. What a we nerd. are having a ton of fun. And like, anyway, it's just, it's. It's a it's a version of me. I have turned into a person I wouldn't recognize five years ago, ten years ago, tw- yeah. fifteen. Unrecognizable. I mean, yeah. I am who who is Jenna Kim Jones? I don't even know. Listen, this is all new material. It's right? it's crazy. It's all so new yeah, material. I mean, if homeschooling goes great, we could have two kids homeschooling next year. Who knows? It's like knows? it's 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 wild. Yeah, but, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's I really cool. am. Cool. I really am. And I, I'm meeting these, like, I met a couple of moms this week that I'm, like, excited about. I'm like, hey, yeah. this might work. Like, if we get together and hang out, this might, this might be something here. We might, yeah. That's awesome. So, anyway, I'm very excited. And I am uh, happy that it's going well so far. Now, I still wake up once in a while and think, like, but what if she's not learning anything? But she is. Oh, yeah. No, she's learned plenty. I know. I right. know. But you still, there's still this panic of like, it's all on my shoulders. <laughs> and if they gave her like a test now, how would she do? And would it be my fault if she didn't do well? You know? Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. You know? You give her your own tests. Right? Uh, no, no, we do. Well, part of this stuff too is I go like, I look at the curriculum and go like, oh, I remember learning this. I never, I never oh, had I to discuss this or I talk know. about it I know. for the rest of my life. I remember learning it. Yeah. So, well, so much years. of it is about like, right. I'm just trying to teach her how to learn. Yes. It's, you know, how do you I absorb think... the information? How, <laughs> what works for you? I, well, in any case, one-on-one instruction would be way better than 20 to one. Right. Oh yeah. That's always going to be better. And then. The helping your child learn how to teach themselves or learn how to learn. Yeah. And then I think, um, in our case, pushing them beyond their limits a little bit or beyond what they don't yes. want to do. Right. Yes. So I think as parents, we try to adjust things specific to the child and what the child needs. Mm-hmm. So it's not like, well, everyone does this. And so you have to do it, get in line. Mm-hmm. It's more about like, well, this person is like lives by structure. So these rules and these processes are easy. This one child, you know, lives by total chaos. Chaos, yes. And so they're going to really struggle to fall in line and find mm-hmm. the patterns in life. Mm-hmm. So we're going to help in different ways. Um, but I think at least in the situation we've seen, um, you know, we're pr- you're probably pushing our daughter beyond what a teacher would have time that or is tolerance true. to push. That is true. Um, and it's not like you're whipping them to death, but it's just like saying, hey, this... I said, write some sentences, and you wrote two. Mm-hmm. I need four. Mm-hmm. Come on. Give me a little more The sky more is blue. I like, the, I like the blue sky. Okay, that's not helping. <laughs> right? No, yes. no, no. That's not, those are not two sentences. That doesn't right. count. Erase them, start over. Right? When in, yes. like, in, a, in a class full of kids, they go like, yeah, yeah, this is fine. You're fine. You passed. You wrote it. Right. No, um, I, that's exactly right. She's getting just like all this one-on-one time, and she's so smart, and she is... I, I'm, like I said, I'm loving it. Like, That's I'm excited awesome. when we have stuff to learn and when we're, when we're doing stuff. I don't, I think there are days when she's excited and then there's days when she's like, I don't yeah. want to. Like, what else is new? But she's a kid. Yeah. 
also, you just feel that way about regular school. That's exactly right. So, but the friendships have been great. Like we've we've made some great friends, and and like I said, I'm being like so much more like proactive of like, hey, we should invite some people over, or hey, let's talk to those people, or let's go meet these people. And I think with all of those things we're doing, and with her all her extracurriculars besides homeschool, because she's in sports and all these different things, that. I think she's getting plenty of social life. Plenty good. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting a social life from it. No, it's not. Uh, yeah. I was worried we'd be kind of isolated, but I think we're plenty busy. Yeah, I do too. It's kind of working. So anyway, uh, Al, should we make some friends? Will you be our friends? We'll, we'll see. I'll be open to it, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. <laughs> you know, it's hard to find a uh, couple friends that uh, you both like. Right? Yes. Yes. Right? Or it's like, yes. Mm, okay, whatever. But they hang out with the husbands or whatever. But right. It's fine. I, I, you we'll know see. what I should have done? I should have got that guy's phone number at Costco. I know. I'd be like, what's the deal? This Text guy, my husband, This guy you? was probably like your like, soulmate uh, friend. If, if you want some real insight, you got to talk to my husband. <laughs> oh my right? gosh. This guy. I, just, <laughs> I still, I'm like, because he, he gave like, me the, uh, there was like this who's look. Who's the actress, the famous actress who played the ER doc? I'm that telling stole you, his uh, name badge, Julianne Moore. I'm, okay, you're you're allowed to come in. You can enter. I'm telling you, because he was so friendly, and he gave me this look. And then he started in on the fugitive, and I thought to myself, "This is a joke." And then Ashton Kutcher with like a trucker yes, hat, like this popped is out. a joke. This can't be real. It yeah. can't be real, and it was real. He was really talking to someone on the phone about watching the fugitive. It's a beautiful. This is why we live where we live. People get it here. <laughs> I just understand that The Fugitive's a real movie. And uh, it's one of the reasons I wanted to live in Chicago. No, it was not. One of the main no, reasons. No, it was not. Every time I'd ride the L, I'd be like, this is what Dr. Richard Kimball wrote. Uh. <laughs> oh I wonder if Merchandise Mart? This is where the shooting happened. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. What do... So, wait. What do women think about every day? If not... Because we're not thinking about World War II every day. I don't know what you guys think about. What do you guys think or about? Or the fugitive. Do you think about steel magnolias? No. Or, um, I don't know, Terms of Endearment or whatever? No, no, but those are great movies. What do you? I don't know what you guys think about. You, you need to ponder that because... Women, I what do know. we think about every day? The meaning of life? How to just get it done? I don't know. I don't either. I, I mean, my brain doesn't work right now, legitimately. So I can't yeah. think of, like, a sentence. But... I I by by the I'm real fresh in the morning. It's by yeah. the end of the day. So, but what do women were, think about? I, I think it's. I mean, generally speaking, there's like a desire to like provide and protect, mm -hmm. and to do things that are like noble. Yeah, and, and I I think a lot of people. That's why I like the World War II docs and stuff yeah. like that. You just think of like there's this generation that like stood up yeah they did and volunteered and they left their homes and their families for like three years four years oh i don't know i mean completely like, different experience you and were the gone. stories were and they were 18 yeah. and it was like the stories incredible and so you just yeah. think, constantly think like man and I've, I've said this before like on the revolutionary war would i have been like one of the colonists that went like guys can we just chill out it's just king george What's the big, we have a good life. Right. Why, why right. have we got to start something? Or would I have been, would I have been like, okay, I'm a minute man. Let's do this. I think you would And like a rebel. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I got to be honest. I doubt myself a lot. Really? Yeah. Because I'm a very much like, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You, you pay a little taxes. You know what though? You pay a little taxes and we get I some good protection from King George I don't here. agree with that because. I don't think so. I don't because you uh, don't you are all about like getting stuff done i guess but to sacrifice the family like we're like i might be gone and i might die and i would leave mm -hmm. you with these children yeah. i don't know it, but it was a different times. time different times boom different uh, time anyway that's what men think about i at least i think yeah. that's what i think about sure but i'm i thinking about like keeping everybody safe gathering the berries what it would <laughs> like what are we who's gonna tan this hide <laughs> <laughs> like sewing the clothes <laughs> you know like i don't i i gotta be honest i'm not thinking about those things I, yeah no but but you think about things that i don't like you know you worry about like i because you'll wake up and go like i'm really worried about number two daughter does she have this or whatever 
guys like that. I don't know. That's true. Maybe that's what I'm you know, doing. I'm processing I think there's like everybody a, else's there's needs. There's like a caring yeah. element to, to women in general, right? Sure. There's an, a desire for that. Yeah, maybe. So I don't know like what you guys would think about. <laughs> like, <laughs> think about uh, Eleanor Re- Roosevelt. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what, I'm what thinking about what's that lady who, the f- Joan of Arc? No. Or do you guys like think about the Kardashians like, every day? Where's Amelia Earhart? Right? Yeah. Or do you think about the Kardashians where you're like, I want to be that rich, but I don't want to be that disconnected and psychotic? <laughs> and We're thinking about the real housewives. Yeah, the real housewives. Like, uh, what would it be like to not have a care in the world, but also burn my life down on national oh TV? Oh my gosh. I wonder I what know, that would right? be like. You know? No. Or like, I don't think about them. Mm, Bachelor in Paradise. Uh, it sounds so awful and horrible and humid. <laughs> So, so many so crabs. Humid. <laughs> so and I'd have many. to wear a necklace for my, so, for my microphone. Uh, I know. Every, it's so bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what women think Is about. Is anybody watching but. The Golden Bachelor? Is that what it's called? I don't think it's called The Golden Bachelor. <laughs> bachelor Golden? Uh, it's Bachelor Golden Years? <laughs> um, Golden Bachelor Girls? Golden it Girls? is called The Golden Bachelor. Thank you very much. It's called The Golden Bachelor? Yes. Uh, okay. Well, you acted well, like you, I called, was you said crazy. it was the gold bachelor. The golden. I said bachelor. the golden bachelor. Okay, all right. Well, um, so they do call it that. That's <laughs> um, I have not been watching it. There's something about seeing someone's grandma or grandpa just really do not great things that makes me feel sad <gasps> it's inside. It's insane. At least with the other one, and I don't. We don't watch he Bachelor is or Bachelor 70. anymore. Seventy. Two. Yeah, so we don't watch Bachelor Bachelor anymore. Just yeah, we, we gave got tired up. of it. We're it's too, too old much for hard. It. Uh, yeah, it's but like <laughs> some. There's something about watching the young people screw up where you're like, you got your life ahead of you. Right. You're gonna right. figure this out. You're gonna regret this. You might but you're be, be 32, stronger for it. But <laughs> yeah, and then watching someone who's like 68 make really bad decisions. 72. I'm assuming. I'm sure there's some young women on there, some sex, some 68 year olds. <laughs> I thought you were about no, to say so. some some 68 year olds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a sure. A bit of a slip there. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Listen, there's a there's the show is very titillating, or whatever they want to say it is. But is it? I think that yeah, watching someone's grandma or grandpa do it just makes me feel sad inside. I didn't and realize he was 72. Is he really 70? He does those not are the golden look years. 72. Well, that's the that's the magic, right? They found someone who looks. Younger than they are. The cast of 22 women are between the ages of 60 to 75. Yeah. But they only shoot from like 9 to 4. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> dinner's at 3.30. Like how That's many. So, you're how, so terrible. <laughs> how many episodes though, where they're like, we're going on an evening date. And they're like, oh, pass. Ooh, I, I don't eat after. Like, yeah. I get that I got the date card, but could I? I don't go out past 6.30. Yeah. How many like wild adventures are they going to like? Is anybody going to be like, you know. They, had they to usually have real are like meetings. skydiving. Or... I know. They had to have real meetings about the physical limitations. They're right. Like, okay. First of all, we know we have shuffleboard as a backup. <laughs> Everyone can do it. It's there. Like, are we going to be watching people play board games or like? Yeah. Or like, we're like we're, we did a walk on the beach. I mean, it's just barely right there and then right back. We're not going far. Or like horseback riding. I mean, that's like 40% of the. Forget it. 40% of the episodes are horseback ridings and helicopter rides to deserted islands. I know. I just think they go like, I, don't, I have to take my pills it's before I fly. It's a lot of I golf fly. carts. It's golf carts. Lots and of golf carts. Compression and, socks. And wheelchairs. And like, <laughs> this we can get so, you a ride up there. We are being terrible. 60 to 75 is not that old. It's not that old. But I'm just saying there's <laughs> there are certainly limitations. There's a lot <laughs> of like, hey, but this is the way I do things. Mm-hmm. I always take my insure before do you think, I ride do my you bike. Think, do you think yeah. that? Yes. Do you think that half the conversations are like kids these days? Am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like mostly every editing. date. Yeah, they're just like, oh, here we go again. And they're probably like, um, ma'am, please stop talking about the cameraman. You have to act like he's not here. <laughs> Do not comment on his tattoos, okay? <laughs> They're his decision. Focus on the date. That is so funny. I don't know, but uh, I have not watched it because... I kind of... We're going to check it out. We'll check me. it out. Okay. We'll, we'll do we it for you, America. We got to see what Jerry's up to. We'll, we'll, his name is Jerry. <laughs> yes. Come Geriatric. Jerry, you know, right? <laughs> Was it really Jerry? Yes. Geriatric? Yes. Jerry Come Turner. Come on. G-E-R-R-Y. G-E-R-R-Y. 
Uh, okay, listen, folks. <laughs> Go to JennaKimJones.com <laughs> and sign up. Support the show. It's yeah. five dollars a month. Support fifty dollars a year. JennaKimJones.com. If you sign up for a year, you get two months free. Heck yeah, you JennaKimJones.com. In the in the top right hand side, you'll see sign up. Um, but I think you can go to jennakimjones.com slash membership. Uh, join. You'll get uh, full access to 1,130 uh, past episodes. Yep. Um, you'll also get a copy of each one of Jenna Kim Jones' stand-up comedy specials. Woo woo! Uh, we've got two videos coming out uh, in the next few months that you'll have uh, free access to and you'll be able to download to have yourself. Yep. Um, along with a whole bunch of other updates and pictures and posts and things like that. And we're going to keep building up that website. So yes, we are. JennaKimJones.com slash membership or just go to JennaKimJones.com. Click on the top right hand corner um, to sign up and join. Yes, please do. Um, and uh, we're, we're happy to be back. We really it's are. Really, I've been excited to get back on the microphone. Me and too. Talk and Me too. It, so. I've been um, to it. And we hope you're enjoying it. And uh, if you get one of those tacos, let me know. Taco Bell tacos. Yeah, tell us how it is. Yeah, we'll because see. I'll never get one because no one will go to Just breakfast with to me think late in the morning. Tommy Davidson. Pete Davidson. Pete, try not to think of Pete Davidson when you're eating it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be weird. I honestly I didn't even know he was the spokesperson. Oh, it's so. bothered me. It's bothered me. No wonder I think you about don't that like every go. other day. I'm like, oh, Pete Davidson. There was you know nobody what I else think available about a lot? for the Taco Bell. No, here's commercial? what I think about. Here's what I think about. What do you think about Taylor Swift? We don't have time to get into that. Next episode. <laughs> I got a lot of feelings on it. Okay. Let's see how the next week okay. of NFL sports goes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Please. Yes. Fine. I will save that yeah. episode three. Stay tuned for all that hot goss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.